When underground cables are installed, disruption to local communities is kept to a minimum. And of course, all work is carried out safely. On each project, a liaison officer is available to answer your questions, and the community forum is involved at every stage, so that lines of communication are always open. Preparation and communication. At the start of a project, a survey of the area where the cable will be laid is carried out. Drawings are then prepared and taken to local residents, landowners, authorities such as the County Council and other interested parties. A communication plan is also set out with information on diversions, service routes for construction works, liaison officer details and more, to keep you informed about what's going on. Before construction begins, all necessary permissions and licences are put in place. Work is carried out in accordance with those and with all relevant health and safety authority codes of practice. Installation of cables. Stage one, preparing the trench and installing plastic electricity ducts. The first step is to dig the trench, then lay the plastic ducting into it. The ducting is bedded on sand and surrounded by concrete. Joint bays are installed below ground at fixed intervals along the cable route and are used to link different sections of cables. Standard warning markers are put over the ducts to alert construction workers if digging up the road in the future. Much of the road can be reinstated at this point. Stage 2. Installing the cable in the ducts. The second stage of construction is less disruptive than stage 1. The cables are delivered to site and drums, in preparation for installation and jointing works. Two working areas are set up, one at each end of the trench where the joint bays have been constructed. One is for the cable drum and stand, the other is for the winch which pulls the cable through the duct. Stage 3. Jointing the cable connections. The individual sections of cable are connected in a process called jointing. This is carried out by specially trained technicians in jointing enclosures, which fit over the underground joint bay. The work is done in a controlled environment to ensure the reliability of each joint. Traffic disruption and road restoration. Before works begin, traffic management planning takes place with the relevant local authorities. This will include road closures and traffic diversions. This ensures the safety of road users and those carrying out the work. During roadworks, local access to homes and businesses is maintained. Traffic is kept flowing as smoothly as possible. And where possible, passing bays are provided to help keep it moving. On a national road, works generally progress at up to 100 metres a day. Off the national road, it's up to 50 metres a day. So there should only be work going on directly outside your home or place of work for a limited period of time. When work is completed, the road is reinstated in line with the road authority's requirements and everyone can continue to enjoy a safe, secure and sustainable supply of electricity.